Hi, I'm Rachel. My name is Mo Egger. And we are doing a Pardon the Interruption PTI type video for you about things that are not Cincinnati sports. Well, it's, it could be Cincinnati sports, but it's going to be kind of the, the goofier things, the weirder stories, the funnier stuff. We're not going to be breaking down games, right? None of the depressing stuff. No stats, stuff. no lineups, no X's and O's, right? None of that stuff? None of that stuff. All right, it's going to be like Pardon the Interruption, PTI? Correct. Okay. So we're going to be debating stuff? It's up to you. Okay. I'll go either way. All right. What do we, uh, <laughs> what, uh, two questions. Number one, we're going to do this on a regular basis. A, what do we call it? Ooh, I hadn't thought about that. I was going to leave that up to you. Blondie and the bald guy. Although I'm not really bald. Do you want to take off your hat and prove that? Absolutely not. Um, and do I have to, do I have to wear evening wear? No, uh, I actually was trying to wear a V-neck. A little much for, for a sports blog, no? Uh, well, I was I was prepared to do more, but okay. you kept pushing this back, and all of uh, my bustier dresses are. Well, we'll see. We'll see what the, what the next few weeks have in store for your wardrobe. Okay, so what do you want to talk about? What do you have? I want to talk about Jack White. J the White Stripes, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. He uh, yeah. threw out the the opening pitch at the Detroit Tigers game, mm -hmm. and was rather um, moody looking. Yeah, he always is. Now, he's from Detroit, right? Yes, yeah, okay. he is. A he's lot a of musicians native. from Detroit. A lot of good musicians. Yes, and yeah. it's a, quite an honor for a fan to get to throw out the first pitch. But mm -hmm. he was equally mm, salty looking at the Cubs game he was at last week. Yeah, I saw that look. I, I would describe that look as uh, dour. That's or, a good term, yes. or like a Cubs fan. <laughs> He had to be a little bit more drunk to be a Cubs So fan. let me get this right. He was at a, a Cubs-Padres game. Correct. And looking just, and we have the photo, right? Yes, we have the photos Ooh. down. It, it, scroll down. Looking just miserable. Have you watched the Cubs play? Oh, yes. At any point over the last 106 years? It's rather unfortunate. Have you watched the Padres play for most of their existence? Uh, I try to avoid Combine it. the two and you have misery. Can you blame the guy? Not really, no. Yeah. But you would think they would be more excited to throw out the opening pitch for his home team. Yeah, but he already threw out the pitch, and now he's got to sit at the game, right? Yes, and, that's and, true. And he threw out the pitch for the Tigers, and now he's at a Cubs game. So, like, going to the Tigers game is cool, now he's at a Cubs game, right? It's other way. Okay, so... so look, he should be happy. He's not happy. I'm just happy that that dude is... Is no, like he's kind of a weird guy, kind of a like an a, a, a eclectic guy, right? He looks very much like Edward Scissorhands. I'm just surprised that a weird guy like that likes baseball. Yeah. Most weird people don't like baseball. Not a lot of vegans at the ballpark. That's right. I, I said vegans are weird. What else? I'm going to have to deal with are the you, email from that. Are you a vegan? I am not a vegan, but I'm going to have to read the mail that uh, we get on that. What else do you have? Um, how about uh, Peyton Manning? Oh, okay. Dance off in Colorado. I saw this. Wes Welker got down also. He was uh, he was doing a hoedown move that was kind of similar to Ashley Simpson and her failed attempt at SNL. Yeah. Um, but they were both uh, rocking out to Rocky Top. Oh, God. Uh, uh, have you ever been to a Tennessee home football game? I have not had the pleasure. I mean, it, it, you, you end up singing Rocky Top for the next, like, six months. He was a little Come excited. Come up with another song! He was a little excited. All right. Um, so what's your question? My question is... In a quarterback dance-off, would it be Dalton or Manning? Well, both guys would do a great job dancing September through December. Both would be high-level dancers. I wouldn't want anybody. I'm making bad playoff jokes. I'm making bad playoff references. He, I, you know, I don't, I've never seen Andy Dalton dance. He's not the most demonstrative guy. Uh, you know, Peyton seems to be willing to step out of his shell a little bit. He looked like... Have you ever gone to a wedding and seen, like, the middle-aged dude who's, like, out there by himself, and they're playing, like, turn down for what, and he's out there just, like, killing it by himself, yeah. and everybody thinks, like, oh, there's, there's dad having a good time, thinks yeah. he's cool, like, he's having a couple of drinks for the first time in months. That's what he looked, that's how he danced. He was dad dancing, for sure. Um, so, I, 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 I would probably give the nod to Andy because he's a little bit younger, and... He I'm might not, not sure pop that out a hip or I'm something. Not, yeah, might not pop and hurt himself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll give the nod to Andy. All right. Cam Thomas of the Pittsburgh Steelers yeah. is in a little bit of trouble for his personal life. Um, he's being sued by a woman that claims he gave her herpes. Ooh. Wait a minute. You can sue somebody for giving you her herpes? Apparently when you're an NFL player, you, you can get sued. If you know you have herpes and you give the girl herpes, then you get sued. Right, because okay. apparently... Right. Um, According to TMZ, which I have in front of me, he had uh, bruises and sores on his 
Okay, I'm going to say man parts. I'm going to say penis because I'm an adult. Okay, I'll say penis too. Okay. I mean, it's... You, you can say the word penis. It's not a bad word. Yeah, it's just you have to say it over and over again. I want, I didn't want it to sound stale. You know? St stale penis? It could. No. I mean, it's just like... So that, I had to go that, there. That and there's a lot of pus. I mean, I don't know. This story, you have pus-filled bumps, buttocks, inner thighs, sores on penis, bruises and sores, and herpes. Emotional distress and sexu sexual battery. Don't forget There is that. emotional distress. Yeah, there mm -hmm. is. There is. There is that. Well, I, I hope for Cam and for Adrian, uh, everything works out. I, when Cam, uh, you know, if he makes the Steelers and they come to Ball Brown Stadium, I expect pus-filled bumps and buttocks and inner thigh to be used on the radio broadcast. I, I expect you to, to be the one that when uses they, them. When they talk about, like, oh, the Steelers got that Cam Thomas guy. He's the nose tackle, really good against the run. He's the guy in the offseason who got the pus-filled bumps on his buttocks and inner thigh. I think that should be part of the uh, part Can of we the send thing. somebody in to see to validate these claims? Yeah, as long as it's not me, yeah. Um, yeah absolutely, as long Wait. as it's not me. So Cam Thomas is getting sued by uh, his ex-girlfriend. I guess it's his girlfriend. Doesn't really specify the nature of their relationship, except that they had unprotected sex, and now she has herpes, and she says it's his fault. Why would you put that in a lawsuit? Well, I guess they, they gave her a fake name. They gave her a fake name. Because um, if I had herpes, and I could assure everybody in the room that, that we, I don't, I don't know that I would want to pursue litigation, because then i got to like tell people, hey, I got herpes. Like the, there's kind of a law of unintended consequences kind of thing going on here. Well, I think she's more concerned about getting the money from Cam Thomas that she could get potentially for emotional du uh, duress, sexual battery, uh, intentional infliction. But see, no, but see, none of this is yeah. good. Like now we're now we're going serious route. I don't. Now, I want to. I, I want to talk about how he got his penis stuck in his zipper. How do you do that if you're over the age of four? How do you do that? Or how you get um, pus-filled bumps on your buttocks and inner thigh because of your football gear. Yes. Sweat. Can, can yeah. that happen? These are things he told her. Forget concussions. That's why I wouldn't let my kid play football. If you put on football gear, you're going to have pus-filled bumps. All right, Sorry, can't. Junior. But but it, Forget the head injuries. Who it, cares about that? Adrian, this chick Adrian, isn't she playing a little bit of Russian roulette? Have yes. You, I mean... I mean, connect the dots. Pus-filled bumps, bruises on junk. You know what, Cam? I'll tell you what. Why don't we take things a little slow, right? Slow. Wrap it up. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that. Is there anything else? No, I think that's it. Those are the only three things we're going to talk about. Today. Are we going to do this again? I would like On to. On a regular basis. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And I'd like the audience to actually participate. Maybe they can tweet you. Are you on Twitter? I am on Twitter. Oh. What's your Twitter handle? Uh, Rachel, 700 WLW. Well, we'll, uh, we'll send people to you, because that, that won't be creepy at all. No. What are you going to wear next week? I don't know, something low cut. What do you want me to wear next week? Whatever you want. All right. Well, we'll talk next week. Thanks for, for watching. What are we calling it? Blondie and Baldy, right? Or I'm, not bald. I'm not bald. I'm not bald.